really don't know what this hairstyle is. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. What up, internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Poppin' Cooking. Yeah, it's a thing now. Rob and I have both received so many requests to do Poppin' Cooking. And if you're like me, you have no idea what Poppin' Cooking is. I did a little bit of research, and the best way I can describe it is that this is what food will be like in the future when all the bees die. Rob picked out four different packages, and then he went on Periscope and had people vote which ones he should try and which ones I should try. A big thanks to everyone who voted that I try the Taco Yaki, which translates to octopus balls. You know how I love those octopus balls. Let's get started, shall we? All right, so I guess the first thing I should do is open up the package and assess the contents. From what I gather from these instructions, I'm supposed to cut all the little compartments apart. Mint. Not too difficult so far. All right, next step looks like we need the red package. Oh, and here's our little octopus friend that we're gonna eat, maybe. Yeah, as I'm mixing it together, I'm realizing like a putty form is developing. Don't worry, they're clean. This is actually proving to be a bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. It's a little sticky. So using the little spoon to kind of help scrape off the excess really helps. Oh, and if you're wondering, this smells really fishy and gross. Not making me feel nauseous at all. Super appetizing, actually. Okay, um, so yeah, this is what the final outcome looks like and this looks horrifying. Yeah, moving on, it looks like we take the blue package, add one triangle pyramid of water, and stir. This one smells a bit mustardy. It actually smells pretty good, not gonna lie. I'm kind of excited. Next up, the orange package. Just gotta stir it up really good, and then I'm pouring that into the eight little ball compartments. Then I'm supposed to add a little ringworm to each one, and at this point, I think it goes into the microwave because I see something about wattage here on the package, and poof, they're done. I'm actually pretty impressed. They look like little biscuits. Weird future food. Just add water, and it's alive. Now I have to use the little toothpick tool to remove the dough balls and flip them over. At this point, I'm realizing it didn't come with this cute little serving container, so I got some little dishes of my own because I can't serve it in this for dinner. Okay, now it looks like I gotta mix the brown package with one triangle of water and stir. This actually smells and tastes like hoisin sauce. We are so close to being done right now. This has only taken two hours so far. And they are done. So excited about drying them. Nope, I can't do it. It's gross. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. <laughs> that was traumatizing. I don't think I'm ever gonna get that taste out of my mouth. Thank you so much for following me along on this research journey. What kind of videos do you wanna see me make? Let me know in a comment down below. And also make sure to subscribe, like up this video, watch all my other videos, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, Facebook, Tumblr, Vine. I'm not on Snapchat. And until next time, bye bye